Hey, hey, Jelly Toast here, back with more I Am Setsuna. Um, I did find out that there are side quests, so I'm going to cheat and use a guide to show me where each side quest is. First on the list is... me. Well, Ender, the main character, but I changed my name to Jelly. Aha! Nasal voice. You're Jelly of the Masked People, ain't ya? I've got a letter for you. A letter for Jelly? From who? Thank you for stealing it from me. Hey, what do you think you're doing, kid? You can't just read someone else's letter like that. So, what's it say? <sighs> I'm leaving this to you as I believe you have the potential to make use of it. As you perhaps know, in these lands there are three important altars. It is said that if you hold up this spare knight stone at those altars, you will receive guidance for the future. First, you should visit the altar in Serendale. Next, the altar on Morbris Mountain. And finally, the altar in the Himcot Forest. Remember this order well. When you require guidance for the future, please remember this letter. I hope that the wisdom of ancients can give you strength and shine a guiding light towards the future. You obtained a nameless spirit knight. What? And who's this from? A friend of yours, Jelly? I don't know who it might be, but I don't think it's a prank either, so I think I know who it might be. So, who is it? A woman? A man? Doesn't really sound like it's written by a woman, does it? It sounds super gender neutral. <sighs> I think we can really trust what this letter says. We've got an important duty to fulfill. Do we really want to put that at risk over something we've read in some shady letter? Well, the first place it's said to go to was Serendale. It's your decision, but if we're gonna go there, we sure as hell better keep our guard up. I don't remember where Sarendale is. <laughs> um... Okay. I wish this map had names. Uh, which means I'm going to have to consult a map. I don't remember where Sarendale is. Um, Sarendale. I'm at Knife Harbor, Neve Harbor, Serendale, Serendale. Anyways, I'll just head to the left for now, because everything else is to the left. Aha! Wait, now I know where Serendale is. Um, that's the fort. Alright, yeah. So it should be... Oh, wait. Okay, this is not it. Uh, this was Sarendale? Oh, yeah, it was. Sarendale. But where's the- Oh! It's those random gray things! That I'm like, what the heck are these for? Uh, this is total overkill. I equipped myself with some new spirit knight, and I did not know he could do that. Gain HP and MP for every strike? Because before it was just for every uh, defeat, every time you killed someone. I'm going to save just in case something bad happens. Oh, excuse me, I'm burping. Okay, um, it was this way. Oh man, I gotta kill freaking... Uh, I think I could kill them without uh, momentum, so... There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Self-destruct. But no damage. I like this. This, right? Yeah. Now there's glowy stuff in there. Oh, my face! A world in which space, life, and even time are all connected. All life is one. All life understands each other. The birth of a white world of brilliant light. Hmm. A nameless spirit knight transformed into the birth spirit knight. Cool. What was that? Hmm, I heard it too. Was that the voice of the ancients? That spare knight stone you see is jelly. Don't you get the feeling it just changed? 
Yes, you're right. I can sense something from it, like a powerful spirit. A special power must have been channeled into it. There are other altars we were supposed to go to, right? What were they again? Marbury's Mountain and Hemcott Forest, right? Maybe we need to go to all three of them for something to happen. Okay. Uh, Morbris Mountain. I don't remember where anything is. I guess I didn't have to save. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Nothing really happened. Morbris Mountain. More. Okay, there it is. I gotta go north. West. I don't have to pick up any more treasures on all of them. Mm -hmm. I don't remember where exactly the altar of Morbus Mountain was, though, so this might take a bit of trekking. That is Lonea Citadel, which means over the water. Morbus Mountain. I don't remember if it's near the front or near the ends. Oh, dang it. Well, I guess we'll find out now. It's in the middle, so from either entrance. Cool. If I can prevent fighting stuff, I will. Just to save time. No, they saw me. Radiance the fools. Oh, they didn't see me. I crept them on them. I don't have to pick any more up. Uh, please be here. Oh, damn it! For real? Rolly roll. I love seeing all those healing numbers pop up. Beautiful. Why is Julianne hurt? I don't I don't think I battled. So this is the second altar. You think the stone will change again, like with the first altar? Yeah, probably. For what reason would the ancients leave behind such messages for the people of the future? These are people from way before even your ancestors, right, Julian? Maybe they had some sort of vision. If only we can meet them and ask them ourselves. If hearing these messages from them makes us feel that way, maybe that's what they were trying to do. Maybe they wanted to somehow talk to us across time. A spirit night stone, bringing people together across the ages. I kind of like that! He also has weird ears on his helmet, like I do on my headphones. Space, life, time, the birth of creation, new concepts and ever-expanding possibilities. An age born from the flow of time, a world in which time has begun to move. That made no sense. Birth spir spirit night transformed into the prosperity spirit night. A world in which time has begun to move. So does that mean, up until that point, time stood still? I'm not sure I get all this. Perhaps the world the ancients inhabited was one that we can't even imagine today. I wish we could see what it was like. Anyway, one thing's for certain, the power in that stone seems to have increased again. They're not talking about Chrono Trigger World, right? Cause there was no point where time actually stood still. Hmm. Mysteries. Oh, I must sidestep these guys because I actually didn't fight them. Yep. Last but not least, him caught forest. Him caught forest is him caught him caught him caught. That's Missly falling. Ah, okay. Him caught forest is on an island all by itself. So if I keep going straight down this way, I sh should hit it. Yeah. Woohoo! Uh, this one I should save just in case. Yes, please save. And in I go. Do I have to fight you? Yeah, I guess I do. Take him. Take him. Bum, bum, bum. Ow! Okay, that actually didn't really hurt that much. 
I remember coming here the first time just out of like sheer curiosity and exploration. I was like, what is happening here? Uh, Astral Blue. King Penguin. And this guy was hard then. Oh. I guess so. Uh... Oh no, I shouldn't have done it with him. Okay, it's okay, he's still alive. Thank you, you can't hurt me. Combo, Astro Bloom. Oh, Julian doesn't have the healing thing. I know you're just a pengi, but just in case, you're super strong. Julian doesn't have the every time you hit something, HP heals. Or the MP ones. Really? No! I didn't want to! I back attacked them. Why is it not preemptive strike? Ow. Ah, uh, please stop. Combo, Astro Blue King. Uh, how do you? I think you should be able to hit all of them. There we go. Royal bite. Royal pain in the bite. If I can skip all the remaining battles, that would be fantastic. Do they even give me a lot of experience? Uh, yeah, they give me a lot of experience. Please be it. No more pinky battles. More pinky battles. Damn it! I tried to slip by. They wouldn't let me. Stop slapping me. Please stop. Okay, okay. Combo Astro. The King. Radiance. That fool. Unless, you know, they're all dead. They're all dead! Oh, did I totally miss the King? Crack. Why isn't Eterna's MP going back up? That should have been a full heal. When she killed him. Hooray! Yeah, how come her MP is not getting healed? I'm very curious, but I'm gonna save. Ooh, save. Please don't be a hard fight. Okay, Alter, let's go. No words this time? No, there we go. A world in which space, life, and time are no longer connected. All life is now separate, and all life now possesses magical energy. Power born from creation speeds up the flow of time and throws the light into disarray. Connections are broken and magical energy thrives. The demise of a white world of brilliant light. What? Prosperity Spirit Knight transformed into the Demise Spirit Knight. So this ancient age met its demise because all living things came to possess magical energy? Is magical energy a bad thing then? It's just stating the facts, ain't it? Magical energy came into the world. I don't think it's saying whether it was a good or bad thing. I wonder how much time passed after that before the age of my kingdom. An unimaginable amount of time. Whoa, he spoke! Yeah, I was surprised. I totally forgot he was there too. The saturation and exhaustion of magical energy repeats again and again as time passes. The age of the kingdom was no more than one part of that cycle. What? Opposing forces are reacting inside the spirit knight. Ain't something meant to happen once we've been to all three altars? That was just a guess, right? It doesn't seem like anything bad has happened, but nothing good either. Looks like it's addressed to Jelly. I'll go ahead and read it. Oh, there's a letter there? What about the other two altars? It seems you arrived at the final altar. I knew you could do it. 
However, the Spirit Knight Stone's power has likely not yet been unified. In order to make it reveal its true power, one more step is necessary. My house is on an island to the south of the mainland. Come and see me, and I shall tell you what to do. Whoever writes these letters is kind of bossy. What do you think? Can we trust this guy? He doesn't seem like a bad person. But how do- who is it? I can't think of anyone it could be. I haven't seen anyone else from my tribe. Um, who would know me in this world? Mysteries. Okay, well, his house is to... south of the mainland. Um, I remember passing by a house on a island. So if I just... Stay to the south of the mainland, I should see a house. That is a lake. And that is a house. I see. And this should be it, right? Aha! Um, there's a fight. So, uh, I'm gonna be using food. Spoilers, I'm sorry. Uh, Kurika copper salad. Ooh, I should heal up again. Fix. Cure coup. And save again. Okay. Let's see who this person is. Oh, it's the old dude! I totally forgot about him. From the beginning. Here you are, finally. There's something I wish to talk to you about. You come in alone, Jelly. The rest of you can wait in the airship. Don't worry, this will not take long. Well, alright. Wait, I'm by myself. This is a solo battle. <sighs> I'm gonna fight inside your house? Will you listen to an old man's story? It is not a long one. Uh, what sort of story? One that you may find surprisingly interesting. At least I hope so. You have done well to gather each of the three powers inside the stone. I am truly impressed. When I have attempted to do so, it did not react in the slightest. Because you're an old man. I'm surprised to hear that. I'm surprised that you even tried. And I am surprised to hear that from you. Nevertheless, my strength and magical energy alone were not enough. It seems the ancients will only grant their power to one they deem worthy. Tell me, how do you think today's world appears to the ancients? Foolish. I see. So that is how things appear to you. Foolish. Yes, that is certainly one way of looking at things. Then why do you say that? Because of humans and monsters. We've done some dumb stuff. I hear that in ancient times, all life understood each other. Hard to believe, eh? If it is true, perhaps humans and monsters once coexisted. Although perhaps back then there were no concepts of humans and monsters. You see, Jelly, I love this world. Not only its beauty, but also its ugliness. Not only the good, but also the evil. I love every part of this world. Let me tell you about a man I once met. A mercenary. He was on the verge of death, as was the monster he had faced in battle. He had been hired to protect a village from the monsters. In order to protect the people of this village, he sacrificed his own life. When learning of his death, his client showed no sadness, but only concern for the future. Out of curiosity, I decided to try and make a proposal to that client. If it were possible to keep the monsters at bay by sacrificing a small number of human lives, would you take that choice? The client hesitated, but only for an instant. As he replied, a smile almost seemed to appear on his face. Such a solution exists? I felt like shouting out, oh, what a baffling creature humans truly are. A man who would sacrifice himself to protect the people from the monsters, and a man who would sacrifice the lives of the few to save the many. Which one are you, Jelly? Uh, neither. I don't want to die. <laughs> but why? 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 Why, because I rap about reality? Ahem, <laughs> I apologize. The humans truly are very strange creatures indeed. Depending on their circumstances and position, they possess entirely different viewpoints. They follow their instincts, yet they also oppose those instincts. 
They are strong, yet they are weak. So which one are you? Old man? Me? I am someone who admires humans, but who was unable to become one. He's a monster! Do you remember the town of Flonea? Yes. The way I see it, the Citadel was ruled over by a very human man. He was prepared to sacrifice the lives of the few in order to keep the monsters at bay. You remember, don't you? No man can control the monsters. That is what you thought, is it not? Yeah. Yes, of course. It is only natural to think that. I know the truth behind what happened. Why do you think that is? Well, it is because the Lord made his deal with a monster who had transformed into a human. The one he struck a deal with was me. As a monster, I suppose you would say I'm a disgrace. I yearn to become human. But you see, Jelly, I find this life as a human so interesting. So very, very interesting. I love humans. That's not a sorry excuse for a What do you know about humans? Hehehe. <laughs> you are a human I respect, Jelly. I want you to help finish this. You, Jelly, are my ideal human. And now, I intend to use all of my strength to destroy your future. Why would you do that? I shall kill you, and I shall kill your companions. Then, I shall watch over this world's destruction with a smile on my face. Uh, bye. Then you must stop me. <laughs> you think you can kill me, do you? Let us go outside. I do not want my house to be destroyed, you see, as a human. Wow, he crazy. He's a... <sighs> Flonea is a weird place. First I shall kill you, next I shall kill your companions. You already said that. Then I shall hand the ancient spirit knight over to the creator in the last lands. Creature in the last lands. I shall bow witness to this world's demise in your place. Are you ready? How about you? Hehehe. <laughs> you don't mess around, Jelly. Yes, I'm ready. Then let us begin. This body may be old, but do not forget that I am a monster. <laughs> This is true combat. Come, let us do battle. Let me get some BP. SP? Ow! That hurt. Don't hurt me, old man. Stop it! Stop backslashing me. If only I had something that could do haste. Ow! Uh, I'm gonna have to use an item. Woo! Pushing me! How? Oh. I think I need to heal more. I need to use high potion. What am I doing? Or maybe I can attack him. Oh, he missed. Okay. I'm gonna risk attacking him. Radiance. <laughs> Ow. Okay, I'm gonna high potion, high potion. Where are you? No, that's high either. High potion. I only have five high potions? Oh, this is not good. Oh! Stop it, stop it, stop it. How? Stop it. Stop attack upping yourself. Heal myself. Thank you. What is ow? <gasps> he died. Oh, lucky! I didn't level up. Come on. Hehehe. He, he. So you realized, did you? Yeah, I figured he was up to something. I would expect no less from the man I regard so highly. Despite seeing through my act, you did not hold back. Amazing, Jelly. You truly are worthy of the Ancient Spirit Knight. And you are worthy to entrust this life of mine to... To who? I obtained Genesis! I don't know what that is. By channeling my life force into the Spirit Knight, the opposing powers inside it will be bonded together. Then, and only then, will it be restored to its former glory. Its power shall guide your journey towards the future. Take it with you on your way. Oh, goodbye, dude. You've grown stronger as a warrior, and more importantly, as a human. It seems the most important things of all are the bonds we make with others. I shall never forget that. Bonds, connections, what a truly wonderful thing. 
Oh, hey, Satsuma. Jelly, I'm sorry. I know we were supposed to stay in the airship, but I was worried. Is it over now? Yes, it is. Thank goodness. Shall I go back to the airship, then? But everyone else came out. Ah, uh, what kept you so long? If you're done, why didn't you tell us? Don't let me in with these two, alright? I tried to stop them. I sense a great power. It seems the energy inside the, ah, inside the spirit knight has been fused successfully. Is that so? Then I am sure it shall aid us greatly. Now everyone's here. <sighs> Come on, let's go. His, like, body imprint is still on the snow. Damn, could you try putting it a little more politely? Couldn't you? Jelly is right. We have no time to waste. Yes, indeed. Ah, uh, here we go. The emotionless trio. Whoa, they all disappeared now. Um... So what is that thing? Command Spirit Knight? Genesis. Enables use of Genesis. Causes special damage. All eight hits to all enemies near the target. Hmm. Cool. Uh, I need to heal myself. Cure food. And I will save because I finished the fight. Yes. Okay. Uh, next on the list is Setsuna. Setsuna does not have a fight. Um, she needs to be in my party, though. Uh, it's her enough for now. And we go. This time we have to go to Nive Village. Man! I should have just had Setsuna in my party the first time, so that while I was there I could just get everything over with at the same time. Fool. Foolish. Aw, oh, damn it, trees. Downfall of life. Okay. Uh, first house on the left, where her dad lives. It cannot be. Am I dreaming? Hello, Dad. Setsuna, what are you doing here? I presumed you had already reached the last lands long ago. I did, but I'm here now. Listen, Dad, the thing is... You're not my real father. I cannot believe it. How is such a thing possible? So now we're searching for more powerful spirit knight stones to prepare for our final battle. Please don't tell the others about all this. It'll only make them worry. But what will I tell them? How will I explain your return? Oh, she's just visiting. Duh. Don't you think they'll want to know why, though? Unlike you, Jelly, I don't think most people would be satisfied with such a vague reason. It's still better than telling them the truth and worrying them. Very well. I shall explain to the others somehow. Thank you, Dad. Still, Setsuna, I never dreamed that I would be able to see you again like this. Life without you feels empty. Everything is gray. Uh, are you... Oh, I forgot. Nidir is from this village too, isn't he? Do you two know each other? No, no. I'm sure he just mistook me for someone else. A uh, pleasure to meet you. I am Nidir. No, no. The pleasure is mine. I am Raishin, Setsuna's father. Is it just me, or was that the most awkward greeting ever? Hmm. Yes, well, anyway. More powerful spirit knight, you say? Do you have any ideas? No, I'm afraid not. I would love to be of assistance to you, but there is no spirit knight like that left here in the village. Uh, we'll have to ask someone else. Hmm, I'm afraid I do not think that will do you much good. There's no one here in the village who is knowledgeable about spirit knight. What about that old lady? The others, pilgrimage lady. Unless... You know something? Me dear? Really? No, I don't know any. Would you mind? I would like to speak with him alone for a moment. With Meteor or Dad? Mm-mm, does he know? That he's the baby daddy. Will not take long at all. Would you mind waiting here? They're gonna snoop. They're totally gonna snoop.
The suspense, man. <laughs> I'm just like, whoop -a -doop -a -doop. I'm sorry, but would you mind too, Jelly? No, I'm staying. I'm sorry, but this is between me and Nidor. No, it's alright. Jelly knows everything. I just like beating around the bush, so I shall get straight to the points. After you finished guarding Nanus's pilgrimage, why did you not return here? Mana waited and waited for your return. How was I ever supposed to show my face around here after the pilgrimage ended in failure? But still, Mana waited your, your return. You know about Setsuna, do you not? Yeah. I presume you do not intend to announce yourself as her father, after all this time. No, I ain't that shameless. But I have nothing left to say. If you want to criticize me, go ahead. I'm ready. Do not make me laugh. What worth do you possibly think there is in my criticizing you? You are a cowardly man, and I shall never forgive you. That is all. Truth! However, as Setsuna's father, I shall show you a bare minimum of courtesy. After all, you are one of her guards now. So what did you mean by what you said? How I might know something about some spirit knight? I meant exactly what I said. Who do you think is the most worried about all of Setsuna's current predicament? Her mother, Mana. Knowing her, she would have planned for her daughter's future, even for a situation such as this. But... I knew her ever since she was a little girl. That is the sort of person that Mana was. You mean... Have a good think. Your memories with Mana. Your child's future. My memories with Mana. My child's future. Did she give you any keepsakes? Because I don't think you're going to remember anything she said. No, she never gave me anything like that. She was kind to everyone she knew. She never treated me special in front of others. I often used to take her to the woods with me, though. We'd spend hours talking together there. Let's try going to the woods, then. Maybe we'll find something. She heard everything. What? Sense of that? How much did you hear? Don't worry, don't worry. I'll keep it a secret from everyone. So you had a crush on my mom when you were younger, right, Nidir? She was very pretty, after all. He didn't just have a crush on her. Okay! Then why not try looking in the woods? Perhaps there is some secret place that only you know of, Nidir. A secret place? Oh, dang! Um... So we gotta go north, then? There was a way out here, right? No, lies. Falsehoods. Really? There's no way out of here? I gotta... I don't remember. Okay, I have to totally exit the village. I'm going in such a roundabout way, holy crap. I hope I don't need Nidor in my party. I think I just need Setsuna. Oh yeah, the woods were over here, haha. -ha. I remember. That's Shire Woods. Ignore the penguins. Ignore all enemies. Make our way to safety. Wait, but there is a secret place I have to go to. Is there not? Let me try checking this this place first. Falling Snow Monument. Mm. That is a broken crimson necklace. Nope. Um. What? Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I do have to go to a secret way. Gosh darn it. Do the woods. <laughs> so instead of going right at the first fork, I should have gone left. Thankfully, there's a shortcut that I can just go back straight to the beginning. Hello, Pengi. I see you there, but you cannot attack me. Oh, 
Huh, there's a path here. It's been closed off ever since the monster started increasing. We'll be fine though, of course. Wow, this is like a mystery trail. Is it now? Whoa! Should I try fighting? Nah, I'll wait till I have Julianne in my party so I could astral bloom them. So this is it? This is your secret place, Nita? Yeah, I guess. I often used to sit here with Mana and talk. I see. So this is the place. Is there Spirit Knight to be found here, then? No idea. This is the only place I could think of, so I thought it was worth a try. How about you, Setsuna? Can you sense anything? I thought if you came here, then maybe... Wait a minute. For real? Damn it, can a guy have a nostalgic moment in peace? Uh Hey, he came too. Dad! I don't mind you sticking around, but you sure you're strong enough to handle yourself? Doubt me, do you? We're the ones who are gonna have a problem if you're holding us up. And then just make sure you do not get yourself caught up in my magic. Oh yeah, I'll bet it's real impressive. Raichin the Great, Mighty Magician. What can you do? Pull a Muffy out of a hat? You're a fine one to talk with that oversized sword of yours. The word overcompensating comes to mind. Ha! Just you watch, damn it! I shall make you eat your words. Hmm, it seems Sir Raichin is quite capable of holding his own in combat. Don't you think there's a lot of tension between these two, considering they just met? To me, it seems the opposite. Are they not comrades? What? Nah, you're imagining things, Spides. Oh, they came to attack me anyway. Great. Alright, that's enough chatting. Let's take care of the rest of them. Is this... Mom? If only Setsuna could do that for every battle. Just instantly take care of all of them. Huh? What do you mean? Why is this your mom? Indeed, it is your mother. As I thought, it seems she left behind her energy for you, Setsuna. Mana, sorry to take so long coming back. Mom, so you left your energy behind for me. The spirit Knight is you. Mother's keepsake transformed into a holy light. Yes, that's real nice, Setsuna. Mm, she was watching over me all this time after all. We'll see you, Dad. I guess see you isn't really the right thing to say. But anyway, I'm glad we got to see each other again. Looks like Mom saw all this coming, though. She really is so amazing. Yes, well... You have very few memories of her, so in your mind she may be perfect. But Mana had many faults, too. Really? She was a carefree woman, and as a result, often careless, too. She was constantly losing things and always forgetting to bring in the laundry. She was not what you would call a great cook, either. I suppose she was good at putting together something edible from whatever was available, though. Yeah, now that you mention it. Hmm? Did you just say something, Nita? No, nothing. Just talking to myself. Most of all, her kind personality meant that she trusted people far too easily. In the past, she even put her trust in a man that she could not see for the good-for-nothing he was. Ahem. <clears throat> Sir Raishin, your strength is impressive indeed. No doubt you would be able to hold your own if you joined our guard. Ha ha ha. It's very nice of you to say that. If no one has any objections, then perhaps I shall indeed join you. No way. You'd never keep up. You stay here in the village. Now you give me orders, do you? Shut up and listen, alright? We're gonna win this final battle and come back alive no matter what. So Setsuna needs a home to go back to. You need to protect that home. This village. I'm... I'm kind... I'm counting on you, Raishin. Hmm. Finally, you call me by my name, you stubborn man. I cannot very well refuse such an honest plea, so it seems I have no choice. I shall do as you say. You mean, you forgive me? Do not be so foolish. As a man, I can never forgive you. I see. But you are one of Setsuna's guard. As an old friend, I wish you well on your journey. Huh? You mean these two are friends after all? I don't know the details, but it seems so. 
Goodbye, Dad. Take care. I shall be waiting here always. Waiting to hear of your victory and waiting for your return. Dang, this has just been super text heavy and my throat is getting tired. Sacred prayer! Yep, they're still there. I'm not gonna attempt it now. I gotta eventually kill all the spirit knight ravaged monsters though. Maybe it's a trophy? I don't know. Alright. Well, this has been super long. And like I said, super text heavy. But, uh, next time, I will go through... Who's next? Eternus! Next. And after that, who knows? But this is all really interesting. And it seems like everyone's getting their own special... Oops. Uh, Spirit Knights now. Like, their ultimate move. Um, whoops, I haven't really been using... Holy Lights. Enables use of Holy Light. Causes magical damage light to all enemies near the target. Inflicts more damage to higher the total healed counter is. I don't know what my total healed counter is, and I don't know if it counts outside of battle too. Damn it, that means I'm gonna have to use her more for healing if I really want that to be powerful. But anyways, I shall continue this all later. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Stay toasty.